Hey guys, Brian again. It's uh, IPCPR 2010. I'm here with uh, Keith Park from uh, Prometheus, God of Fire. You may know him that way. Um, how you doing? Oh, why don't great. You, why don't you uh, show us some of your uh, your your new products and what what you got going on for the the show this year? Okay. Hey Brian, uh, thank you for uh, Brian and the world, and thank you for uh, stopping by our booth. And uh, this is. Uh, uh, you know, 2010 release of uh, God of Fire, and uh, I'm going to show you some of our new stuff we are doing. Um, we will be uh, releasing a uh, uh, scar jar. These are beautiful. Yeah. I really like the blue one, by the <laughs> way. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, we are releasing 200, uh, 600 jars with a, a God of Fire by Carlito Double Robusto. Um, and uh, um, let me show you. Uh, yeah, show them that blue one. That, that blue one's beautiful. They're going to be 28 God of Fire by Don Carlos Robusto inside. Um, the, 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 the great thing about this jar is, uh, you know, um, the value of the cigar, 28 cigars, um, there's no additional price, you know, added. For, for the packaging? Yeah, for the packaging. So, you know, but basically if you buy, you know, 28, you know, Robusto, you, you're getting these collectible jars. And then we are releasing uh, 400 uh, uh, Robusto jars in blue. The, the red one comes with a double robusto, and the blue one comes with a robusto, double robusto and robusto. And then, uh, you know, we have a you know God of Fire cigar collection. Um, we we, uh, we 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 are introducing a God of Fire leather case. Uh, this one actually holds uh, uh, 60 uh, ring gauge cigars. Um, you know. A lot of uh, um, our customers told us, uh, you know, they, they they smoke bigger and bigger ring gauge cigars. The large and ring gauges are hot yeah. these days for sure. Yeah, and then also, um, even though you know you smoke 50 ring gauge or 52 double robusto or 54, uh, a lot of cigar cases are not large enough. So sometimes when you're trying to squeeze the cigar inside you end up you know damaging the wrapper so even though you smoke 50 ring it goes in there you know very nicely so and then uh, we have a, a God of Fire limited edition lighter oh, wow. it, it use a, it, it's a very thin um, it use a flint uh, mechanism but it's a torch lighter Oh, no. oh nice. A, yeah, it's a flint torch. So it, actually spin, it spins the, the yeah, little flint? Yeah, it, it's there. a flint wheel on top. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, we are producing 500 of, uh, it's called Prometheus Retro Lighter, but the limited edition with the God of Fire. You can almost you know, fit that in your wallet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? I have a wallet. I guess. You could literally fit in here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's uh, our uh, yeah yeah that's our uh, you know God of Fire, and then uh, um, I, I want to show you uh, uh, Fuente A selection. Um, for Fuente A selection, um, we are releasing uh, Fuente Fuente Opus X, the Law City. Um, you know, um, some of you might be familiar with the uh, uh, story behind the Law City. In 2004, uh, Andy Garcia wanted to, uh, you know, make a movie about uh, uh, the Fidel coming to a power in uh, in Cuba in 1950s. And uh, you know the, the, the main character Fico, um, you know his family, the two brothers he has, they you know they have a different political views, and then you know that you know that the the, the I guess uh, within the family there's some uh, that you know conflict, and then uh, um, you know Andy has you know Andy's character had to leave Cuba, you know. And at the end of the movie, and uh, you know, it's, it's 
what happened in Cuba when Fidel came to power. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a great movie, and uh, it's in my Netflix queue. <laughs> uh, yeah? yeah, I've been meaning to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, um, when the the movie was shot, Andy wanted to sh shoot a uh, one of the uh, most memorable scene at a tobacco farm. And uh, um, he called up Kalito, and Kalito told him, yeah, yeah, anytime you come down and shoot a uh, uh, lost city at Chateau de la Fuente, uh, unfortunately, um, Andy could only go down there in July. So Kalito said, you know, usually tobaccos are harvested in March. Um, there would be no tobacco in July. So Andy said, well, I'm really sorry, but that's the only time I can go because you know, he got his actors and the whole crew. So Carlito planted a tobacco just for uh, Andy's movie in, in summertime. So um, 2005, uh, you know, he, 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 uh, he, he planted a tobacco, they, sh they shot a movie, and then after the movie was shot, you know, Carlito harvested the tobacco and uh, he, he, he fermented them and he started aging the tobacco. And he had no plan, you know, you know how he was going to use the tobacco. And, and, and I guess Andy and Kalita talked about maybe make some special cigars from that harvest. And uh, um, at, at 2006, God of Fire dinner, Andy was on the uh, stage and then he mentioned, you know, about the cigar. And uh, um, so, you know, finally, you know, last year we were able to use that tobacco that he, he put away in 2005 and made a cigar. Uh, it's called um, Fuente Fuente Opus X Low City. Um, it's, uh, um, you know, it's a beautiful band. Yeah. Man. And then uh, in the second band says the Low City. Directed by Andy Garcia, Chateau de la Fuente. Nice. Yes. Um, there will be about 4,200 boxes we are releasing this year. And uh, Robusto, Double Robusto, Toro, uh, Pyramid, and Lancero. And uh, here is a Don Carlos edition of the Aniversario. This is a 30th anniversary cigar for Arturo Fuente Don Carlos cigars. Okay. Carlito made this cigar in a tribute to his father, Carlos Arturo Fuente Sr. Um, and we have a Fuente Fuente Opus X um, uh, for Cigar Family Charitable Foundation. Uh, we we've been releasing this cigar since 2004. Um, there are 22 cigars, so people have been calling them, calling this box Opus 22. Opus 22. Yeah. yeah. This year, I, I they're referred to that as Opus 22. Yeah. yeah. This year, there are uh, 15 sizes, 15 different sizes. You know, in assortment, total of 22 cigars. You know, um, our company uh, donate 100% of a net profit to uh, Cigar Family Charitable Foundation. Yeah. Charitable Foundation. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, um, you know, you know, our company uh, has helped you know raise over a million dollars since 2004 for Cigar Family Charitable Foundation. So it goes to great cause, you know, poor children in Dominican Republic, and uh, you know, you can have a great smoke, great cigar, and help children, you know. So it, it's a good cause, and. Uh, um, that Liana Fuente, Alito's daughter, uh, she she has been uh, making this uh, Christmas ornaments. Is that, is that their new one for this year? I remember yeah. seeing the little train car last year. Yeah, you know, last year she made the train car, and then uh, I think I guess this is uh, Arturo Fuente logo. I think that was out last year as well. Yeah, but this one I think is yeah. that was that one's cool. Yeah, like this is uh, this year's. And uh, she told me yesterday, she add this, so after Christmas, you can put this like this, and then you can put your business card like this. Oh, this is one of our customers from Melo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can put your business card, and you can leave it on your desk. That's great, that's great. Yeah. 
That's that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, so that's that. And then uh, let me have a look over at the Angelinos in the San Sencio. This is a uh, um, 2010 release of Angelinos. Um, you know, we are releasing uh, Angelinos cigar jar. We are releasing 500 jars. Um, there are two new sizes we are releasing at this show, which are um, Robusto and Double Robusto. And then we are going to release 250 jars with the Robusto and another 250 with the Double Robusto. And uh, the jar is, uh, is, is a, you know, there is no additional cost for the jar. Okay. Um, it's, but it's a great collector's item. And then, you know what, it keeps a good seal. And I was really surprised how well it keeps the moist inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I don't know whether you can hear the sound. A uh, little bit, and maybe it'll, it'll yeah. 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 So um, it, it gives a good seal. And uh, we we have been releasing uh, um, Angelinos in box of 10, but we're changing our packaging to a uh, box of 25. And uh, this is how the new cigars were coming. This is our new box. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is our new box. And then uh, we are releasing Angelino's uh, uh, Bone China Ashtrays. This is uh, uh, Ashtray. And then uh, we are also releasing, uh, we released this lighter, Prometheus Retro Lighter. It's a flint mechanic. Like, like, yeah, like, like God of Fire. So it looks like you've got matching product lines between the God of Fire and the, the Angelinos. Yes. Correct? Yeah. And the uh, flint mechanism. Yeah. But uh, the, uh, this year's release is different from last year's in a sense yeah, that on the dreamy. back there is a, a, a poem printed. It's called L.A. Dreaming. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> so um, it is uh, on the back of the lighter. We are uh, producing 500 of these lighters this year. And then uh, we have a uh, limited edition Angelino's cutter. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, here is an Angelino's cutter. It's a double blade. You press the button on top, it opens up, and it cuts the cigar. You can, you can cut 60 ring gauge cigar, absolutely no problem. So it's nice. Yeah. And uh, just like out of fire, we have uh, Angelino's uh, uh, leather case. This also holds uh, 60 ring gauge uh, cigars, absolutely no problem. And uh, you know, there is a, a Angelino's emblem in the front. And then uh, we are also making carbon fiber Angelino's humidor. It's nice. And uh, it's a gunmetal hinge, and uh, the the front is a gunmetal as well. Yeah. And the metal feet, they're all gunmetals. Uh, sharp. Yeah. Uh, Angelino's cigars are made by uh, uh, made at the uh, uh, Fuente factory. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we we launched a uh, uh, new brand called Sencio. Um, this was launched in the spring of this year. Um, Sencio means uh, simple in Spanish. Um, you know, simple pleasure. You know, um, cigars are priced great. Uh, the Robusto is. Uh, um, six ninety five. Oh, okay. Retail. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. really reasonable. Yeah, it's a retail six ninety five. And uh, um, are these also made by by Fuente for you? Oh uh, no, uh, Sencio is uh, uh, made uh, by uh, Christian uh, Iroa. 
Oh, uh, so yeah. Camacho. Yeah, okay. he's yeah. Made, in, made in Honduras. All right. Um, and uh, it's a, a Honduran Puro, all tobacco. It's a proprietary tobacco, uh, you know, grown by, uh, uh, you know, Iroa family. Um, it's, it's a, and uh, um, we have, uh, uh, you know, we, we are making a, a limited edition uh, uh, Sencio lighter. Yeah. It's clever. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, similar cutter. Yeah, yeah, we also have a Sencio cutter. It's a white lacquer with a, a shiny chrome finish. Yes. Um, and then we have a Sencio ashrays. It's uh, nice, nice and deep in there. Yeah. And uh, it's so. Uh, you know, white stoneware with a platinum logo. Oh yeah, yes. It comes in uh, pretty simple boxes as well. Yeah, you know, it's, the box is very simple. Very sensible. Yeah. Yes. Muy <laughs> sencillo. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, um, uh, we also have a, a sencillo humidor. Yes. And uh, at the show, we are releasing a uh, uh, new size. It's a 60 by 6 uh, Sensio Gigante. Uh, it retails $8.95 um, with the uh, uh, you know, 60 by 6, you know, people who love, you know, large and ring gauge cigar, and here is the cigar. They're very popular these yeah. days, yeah. 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 And uh, so, um, you know, this uh, this is our Sensio uh, collection, you know, for this uh, fall season. And uh, hey, Walter and uh, Brian, thank, oh, for, uh, oh, thank you for visiting our booth, and uh, I hope you guys have a real nice time at the show. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you.